Hi y'all, I'm Gina with Country Family Values and today we're going to be doing country fried steak strips. See you in the kitchen. So this is a tenderized round steak and I'm cutting it into strips. I'm using a knife that's kind of got a serrated edge to it too, I guess. And I guess I'm going to cut some of that fat off of that and just make that one strip. Yeah, there we go. So this is what we got. So the first thing I'm going to do is get some oil heating up over here. I'm using grapeseed oil. I'm going to cover the bottom of the pan here. And start letting that get hot. And I'm going to put some flour in this bowl. I don't have to have a whole lot because I don't have a whole lot of meat for this, but you can just kind of put what you want in there. I'm going to sprinkle these really good with some seasoning salt. pepper on both sides. Seasoning salt and pepper on both sides. It's just kind of to taste. I just try to, to cover them really good. Now I'm going to put them in my bowl of flour here. Now I'm going to put the lid on these and give them a shake. It's just kind of my lazy way of doing it. And you guys, if you like battering them with egg and some milk, you know, you can definitely do that. You can also get a little creative if you want to put like some onion powder or some garlic powder on it. You know, there's nothing wrong with doing that. That's the beauty of cooking at home. You can do it the way you want to. Now you just kind of keep an eye on these. Turn them every now and again. Make sure that they're not burning. That they're browning. And some people like to smother these with gravy. Just like you would regular country fried steak. Other people like to have a dipping sauce so it's just kind of whatever you're in the mood for I guess would be the way to say it for us I'll probably make some gravy out of some of this oil here and use it as a dipping sauce for us we usually like that especially since I've got some mashed potatoes there going and I don't know, we just kind of like these cut into strips because sometimes when you when you cook it as country fried steak, sometimes it can be kind of a tough cut of meat. Sometimes it's like gristly, I guess would be, has gristles in it, you know, and sometimes it's just not the easiest to chew, but having it cut up like this makes it more bite-sized, but it, but it's still very flavorful. Okay, I'm 
Now I'm going to start taking up some of these. And what I have here is oh, it's just a broiler pan that I put together here for this to be able to drain some of the oil down from it. Those look really good, don't they? Look how nice those are turning out. I look forward to dipping those into some gravy. That would be good. And that's about all there is to it, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. And for the gravy, I'm going to save the bits that were in the bottom of the pan. And I've poured off a lot of the oil. But this flour that I battered with, I'm going to use a lot of that for this. I'd say that's probably about a half a cup. This is a Teflon spatula that I'm using here. Don't worry about it being a little brown. It'll be just perfect once we add the milk to it. I'm going to add about a cup of milk. <clears throat> You want to just constantly stir and stir, and you may even need to add some more milk if it goes to thicken it up too quick. Yeah, this is going to be thick. So I'm definitely going to add some more milk. Add it to what I had going on here. So, about two cups of milk, huh? So far. <laughs> and I definitely want to thin it down some more, so I'm going to add some water. I'm just going to add it a little bit at a time to see what I need here. And if you like your gravy at this point, you know, you can stop whenever you want. It's just kind of one of those no-fail things because you can always cook it down if you've added too much water, and if you've got don't need if you don't have enough, then you just add some more. And that's kind of what I just demonstrated because I definitely didn't have enough liquid, and I needed to add more to it. At this point, this is about where we like it. <laughs> 